Okay, welcome back to the channel, Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, we are working on the OV-10A Bronco by ICM 148th scale. And as you can see here, I've got quite a bit of work done so far. I will be working with the Edward Space 3D decals for this set. So I have a few pieces from the um, photo etch that came with that kit. And those are some of the foot pedals, as you can see here, and a few other, other uh, pieces. Since I'll be using the 3D, um, the 3D decals for many things like the control panels and instrument panels, I went ahead and removed uh, much of the raised material that came originally in the kit. As you can see here, it looks quite dirty, and you're probably wondering what's going on here. Well, I went ahead and prepared a wash, and in my other videos, I was showing you how I've applied it, uh, but in a few videos have I gotten the opportunity to actually show you how I'm removing it. So that's what we're going to do, going to do in today's video. Just a word about the, the gray color underneath, the cockpit color. Uh, I went ahead and mixed two Tamiya colors, you see them here. We have XF19 Sky Gray and XF18 Medium Blue. I used essentially six parts of the Sky Gray and one part of the Medium Blue, and that got me pretty darn close to the cockpit gray that we see on these aircraft. Again, this is completely slathered with a, a sludge wash. Uh, the sludge wash I mixed uh, just some black and some white and came up with a, a fairly dark gray to help bring out the details and show off the, the, the shadows on the vehicle and, and add sort of just this basic le uh, layer of weathering. Um, a note about the, the kit itself, it's a fantastic kit. Um, really, really great de uh, detail. The fit is incredible. I've had no issues so far and because the detail is so beautiful, it, it's completely inspiring to work on. So I'm not sitting here kind of feeling like I'm dredging, you know, moving forward slowly and, and pushing myself to have to work on it. I'm actually really excited about building this. And a lot of that is due to the fantastic detail and the potential that comes with that detail. As you can see here, I have uh, one of the side panels here, one of the side panels for the cockpit. Uh, there is a pin mark as you can see here, which I did not remove because it's not going to be seen once the, the cockpit tub is in place. And same on the other side. I have painted some of the details, so this little box here is black, and some other details are going to be black as well. Uh, this, uh, I'm guessing like some sort of switchboard, I decided not to fully paint because on top of it I'm going to have one of the 3D decals provided by Edward. Um, so I didn't went ahead and just not paint it on top. But let's go ahead and have a look uh, and start removing some of the wash. Before I do, a couple of things I want to point out. Uh, the foot pedals are going to be very delicate. Again, these are photo etch parts. And looking at my references, I went ahead and added a wire from the foot pedal going up to the surface here. So in those cases, um, I need to be really, really careful. So I'm going to try to remove the excess wash very carefully. Before I go on to the cockpit tub, let's go ahead and just work on the seats. Um, there are a couple ways to do this. I've seen people take just napkins or paper towels and start to wipe away. What I like to use is a brush as well as Q-tips. Um, so I think what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to show you how to use a Q-tip. The Q-tip I'm going to use to sort of lift a lot of material off. And what I'm doing is I'm rubbing back and forth and I'm turning the Q-tip as I do this so it stays clean. Okay, and I'm, right now I'm just looking for uh, the flat surfaces. Okay, and I'm not trying to take a lot off really just the flat surfaces is where I'm, where I'm focusing on. All right, let's do the same here. Okay. 
Next I'm going to use a brush and I want to show you how I kind of choose the brush. I have quite a few brushes set aside for this sort of thing and I want to kind of take a look at three here. So I have this brush. Uh, it is soft and the hairs on it are long. What this is going to do, as you can see here, it doesn't really wipe away much material because there's not a lot of strength behind it. I can soak the brushes in some of the uh, thinner, or the, the terpenoid, but I don't want to do that. I kind of want to start first off not having to use a terpenoid. This brush is still long, but it's a little bit uh, stiffer. The brushes are a little bit stiffer, and it does a little better job of removing the excess material. But ultimately, I found that the best choice is a short brush that is soft, but you can see here it's the bristles are still strong. And this is going to be probably the best choice for this model. And this is going to allow me to remove material while at the same time uh, keeping the material inside the crevices. All right. So let's go ahead and use this brush on the seats that I've already started. Now what I'm doing here is I'm brushing the material, continuing to brush the material into the crevices. Then I'll come back and continue to work with the Q-tip and remove the material from the surfaces. So that way the excess is removed or it's brushed into the crevices. And I find this is the way that, lo that looks the best. Um, this is a completely subjective feeling. We don't all have to go with this method, but I like to use a combination of brush and Q-tip, not just one or the other. I tend to not use a paper towel or, or a napkin as others will. Um, it just, it's a little bit too heavy handed for me. All right, so now I'm going to brush, moving around the excess. Some of the excess will go onto the, back onto the surface, that's okay. I'm sort of redistributing it. And then I continue to wipe it off the upper surfaces. It's really the upper surfaces where we want to remove the material. And you can see, too, what another interesting point with these washes is that they really do act like a fil they act as a filter where they actually change the color of the bottom uh, of the base the, the base color all right and I knew that going into it and that's really why I picked these particular colors I mixed them to get a sort of a, a slightly bluish gray but it's 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 lighter than the aircraft color should be, knowing that when I add the wash, it's going to get darker. And so when you're mixing your paints, you want to kind of think about, am I going to be doing a wash? Am I not going to use a wash? And if you are, you're going to want to take that into consideration when you mix your paints. If you don't really mix paints and you just expect the color to look good right out of the bottle, um, you might be surprised when you add a wash, you might be surprised of how dark dark it looks so just be aware all right it's looking pretty good I do want to put them side by side and see if they make sense together and they do all right so in the interest of keeping the video interesting I think I'm going to stop here and I'll post some photos and show you sort of the finished product okay so thanks so much for watching. Uh, please do hit subscribe and share the channel with friends. Uh, hit that bell for future notifications of videos. And thanks again for watching. Bye.